Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Passy. Just getting this pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for coming back again. Today, we're going to be looking at a few seal items that are on the PlayStation Hong Kong network. So, I did the TGS seal. I actually went and covered it, the uh, TGS 2017 seal, before uh, this video. So, it actually it only came up recently. I think it might have came up like yesterday or the day before. But this particular video came out, is coming out like live as fast as possible because a new seal has just started on the Hong Kong store. And that is for the PlayStation VR game seal. Um, also on the same side of it, it's because of the new month, it's the month of October, we're going to be getting our PS Plus games for the month very soon, but also on top of that is a new deal of the month on the Hong Kong network. So let's, we'll take a quick look at the deal of the month first, because it's only two titles, and uh, one of them I highly could recommend, especially for the current price deal that it's actually going at, while the other one, uh, it, you're, you, as far as it actually matters on the game, I think the story mode looks absolutely stunning. The character design models and the actual combat looks really, really fun. But there's a lot of involvement of like DLC content that are coming out, that's coming with that game. And I'm personally waiting until the game of the year edition of it comes out, probably in a year's time. So I'm as much, as good as this is the price. I'm not that massively interested in Injustice Two. I think it's actually a very good game. And I've got a good chance to play with it. And I do love the more, the most recent Mortal Kombat series. And I loved Injustice Gods, uh, Gods Among Us, the first one. But still at the price line of like the cheapest version here, still 23, 234 Hong Kong dollars, which is about 27, 28 pounds. Still too much. Still too much for the game, for, in my opinion, just for the fact of all the stuff that's going to be hidden behind DLC. Uh, whenever it comes out with its two character packs, which was the most recent one, the second one that's already been announced, Includes Hellboy. I'm on board with that. I'm looking forward to playing that. But like I said, when the Game of the Year edition comes out in a later time, if you're really interested in it and you've been on the fence about getting Injustice 2, this might be where you could get it for a good price. But do remember one important thing. You buy it from the Hong Kong store, you have to buy the Hong Kong DLC to go with the game. The DLC is region locked. You won't get it from it. You can buy it. You have to actually, you can play it with your other accounts. You can play it with any other account that you have, but it's actually locked to that region account. So you won't be able to download DLC later on and apply it to it whenever you want to get it from your European store or American store if it comes down in price. That's just my, that's my forewarning beforehand. But if you're interested in it, Injustice 2 is currently down to like half price, 50% off on the PlayStation Hong Kong network for the month of October. The one I want to talk about properly is Transformers Devastation 7760, uh, which works out at about nine bucks. It's like under a tenner. Transformers Devastation is an amazingly fun game. I actually really enjoyed it, um, mostly because I'm actually the age that I am and I grew up with the original Transformers, GAU1 stuff. Uh, it still, it still, get, still gives me a little heckles in the back of my neck every once in a while whenever I think about the Transformers movie from the 1980s. Um, the death of Optimus Prime back then was actually like, it's a, it, was a, it was a heartfelt moment for me. The death of one of my favorite toys. But um, as a... Outside of being a toy line and anything else, the, the meticulous kind of commercialization that goes along with building a toy line for the purposes of actually entertaining kids and getting them emotionally involved in it. Transformers Devastation is a great Platinum Games uh, story-driven adventure with characters that you might very well recognize from the G1 Transformers. I played through it, a sideswipe. There's a video of it on the channel that you can go and check out if you want. I'm probably going to throw it into the, the clips of the corner, like the wee clickable links that you might want to check out. But uh, yeah. At that price, I could not recommend it more. It's a great experience. It's good fun. It's probably, what, four to six hours of actual gameplay in it. Um, more so if you actually want to play through it with every character that you can unlock and play through it with every with all the best weapons at the highest difficulty. You'll probably clock it in and run about 20, 22 hours at most. But um, it's not a bad game in any way, shape, or form. I'm looking forward to seeing a completionist episode of this because there actually is a lot of items to be found and a lot of cool stuff to unlock, but um, I personally just played through it twice with my the characters I enjoyed, Wheeljack and Sideswipe, and that was that was me done and dusted. That's all I really wanted to do, but it was a lot of fun. It was a really enjoyable experience. So moving on to the PlayStation VR sale, which is the main point of this video, <laughs> rather than actually me having a rambling thing about DLC and prices and then actually talking about an order game I damn well love. We're taking a look at the PSVR sale that just started and is available until the 10th of October on the PlayStation Hong Kong network. Now, there's not a lot of games listed in here, but there's a couple that I thought were actually a decent price for what they are. Um, so, Farpoint being probably the newest game on this list. Let's, let's mark it by newest to see. Yeah, Farpoint Star Blood Arena. I've done Star Blood Arena previously here on the channel, and it's actually one of the best experiences that I've had 
on the PSVR for cockpit combat. Rigs, I actually haven't enjoyed that much. I haven't really enjoyed it that well. Uh, Starblood Arena, it feels like you're playing Descent back in the 90s, but with a, a much more visual update. And I, I, other people who've played it have felt nauseous playing it because of how fast and quickly you can be whipping yourself upside down and around to travel around. But I actually enjoy the hell of it. I think Starblood Arena is going to be a lot of fun for anybody who can get themselves into some arena combat. It's, it's quick, but in the air. You know, it's, it's, it's really, really fast, slidey, uh, vehicular, floaty combat. And I actually really enjoyed it. And so to, other people may find it a little bit too nauseating. But that's, uh, that's more of a question of like, can you, do you play flight sims? And are you used to flight sims? And are you willing to kind of like get over that, that first initial phase where you're going to be, up, you are going to be upside down while sitting on a chair sometimes, which eh, with good VR and good audio, it can really kind of get you immersed. For a point, uh, still way too much of its price at 25, 257. Static, uh, great fun experiments. It reminds me a lot of, uh, don't, everybody talks, uh, sorry, keep talking and nobody explodes. Uh, we played Static twice here on the channel. I played through the demo. Uh, Will played through the demo. You can check out videos of that as well in our PSVR playlist. I think it's a really enjoyable experience. It's just the fact to have it locked into your controller. So a lot of your hand movement is actually with your hands being hidden behind this and tracking yourself. I think it was very, very clever. Uh, because a lot of the other games are forcing you to do this like, two-handed tracking ball movement thing, which in the end up is a problem in a lot of VR setups because too many point checkable objects things start getting lost, someone gets stuck behind your head, it's putting through your face and you see this ball bounce around inside in front of you. Kind of like my experience with the, the Spider-Man demo. But this, it was simple enough, it's literally where your hands are and everything is in, comp like in comparison to where your wrist movement is actually following. Static is a good price at $9. It's got a fair amount of puzzles in it. Uh, I personally uh, think it's actually one of the better deals that are available at the moment on this, in this particular seal. Dying Reborn, not interested in any way, shape or form in Dying Reborn. But it looked awkward and uncomfortable to play uh, whenever it first got released. Um, I've not gotten... Uh, it, this is all outside perspective because I haven't got to play it directly. And whenever I did try to play it uh, or try to get a hand of a cold to with it, I got turned down for it. So it was one of those games going like, right, I, I, I was not interested in this beforehand and I'm even less interested in this now because uh, I wasn't, I wasn't going to get to play it for free, essentially. Uh, there, was no, there was no drive to me to spend full money on this game. Even though this is looking cheap, um, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I feel like it was actually, it was a horror pretension for what it was meant attempting to do. The giant fish head thing <laughs> made me giggle whenever I first saw it. Weeping doll, um, obviously a creepy doll following you around the house. Uh, do you like those kind of games? Do you, do you like Tattletail? Maybe that might be for you. Uh, Pixel Gear, at, at 25, like essentially at $2, this is actually you're going to be the lowest, low, lowest of cheapest entry games actually be in VR. If you haven't got any games yet to play, so it's actually like a locked at full experience, then Pixel Gear might be well worth checking out. Uh, Drive Club VR, Drive Club, not a thing for me when it comes to VR, not my interest of experience. Gunjack at 30, 30 Hong Kong dollars, it's actually not too bad. It's actually a, because it is a short gaming experience. Um, Gunjack seems to actually play off as being a tech demo that's been extended out, uh, but still giving you that cockpit experience, still giving you that idea of actually um, space combat, essentially. Um, as far as it, it's Eve Gunjack as well, so it's, it's meant to be fitting in within the Eve universe. If you're actually interested in playing Eve Valkyrie, this might give you a kind of a context for it before actually speaking in the, in the full outlay on the Eve Valkyrie game, which in my opinion didn't feel like a ama amazing experience, especially the tech demo they gave us in the VR worlds uh practice experience that they actually given the demo just that they brought out with the psvr wasn't really a great experience in any way shape or form it was it was too short it literally stopped right before the combat really began so i couldn't i, I personally i can personally couldn't recommend uh, recommend valkyrie but i can recommend gun because it looked like a, a simple kind of like uh mission based experience that you, yeah if you're going to sit down with somebody for like 20 minutes to play through they'll get the they'll get the idea of vr quite comfortably with it um the other one tumble vr fun enough game uh still at the same time a lot of money to spend on a balancing game that's uh really going to be dependent on the fact that do you have um motion controls rather than actually being on the basis of this and until dawn rush of dawn uh, until dawn rush of blood love until dawn love the context of the original game we had massive technical issues with the studio setup that we have in here with rush of blood uh, so we probably didn't give it the best experience, the best trial run whenever we did it the first time because uh, we cleared a little space to make sure there was plenty of room to move. 
but the lighting was messing with the controls so much that uh, Will was just made nauseous from the experience. We might come back and try it again, but um, as an on-the-real shooter, its price isn't bad. If you're going to be, if you want to get, play an on-reels kind of horror shooter, then that's the only one really in existence that'd be worthwhile checking out. So in the end up, just to tie all this list of ones together, the only things I recommend are Pixel Gear, Gun Jack, and Statics off this list as it is. For the prices alone, I think you'll get a decent experience and you'll get a very a varied experience from all three of them, even though they're all POV kind of stuff. Um, Statics is a puzzler. Pixel Gear is uh, an adventure, uh, like a shooty adventure, a first person adventure. And Gun Jack is your, cock uh, your cockpit space vehicle experience. That's, uh, you, can, you can't really experience VR in that many ways because it's all first person perspective and there's a lot of, there's a limitation to the limitation to the immersion i suppose is the best way to describe it um if you're not going to go for resident evil 7 or you're going to actually try something you want to try something that's actually a little bit of a shorter experience those three titles can get you really started off and for the price it's what 9 10 11 12 13 14 for 17 bucks 17 bucks uh like well 17 pounds about 18 bucks that's not bad. That's actually, that's, that's a pretty, that's a, like, for, it's a cheap price for three games that actually give you three very individualistic experiences. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed seeing these kind of seal videos pop up on the channel, tell me underneath the comments if they've actually helped you make a decision on prices of any sort. Um, because I, I don't know what, my, this is all going to be, this is all based on my subjective opinion. <laughs> that's uh, what I value and what I'd be willing to spend on each one of these. You might actually have your own choices if there's anything there on that list that you think is well worth checking out or you completely disagree with my recommendations then do tell me underneath tell me what you guys think because i would like to know uh so thank you very much for watching if you happen to be watching this on youtube there'll be a button up there i'd really appreciate you hitting uh there's be a button here or a box here there'll be a recent playlist which will probably be just a sales playlist or a vlogs one on the far side will be the most recent videos on the channel and right here will be a video just for you based on the user analytics and the things you do on youtube it'll pick a video that you will like and will enjoy it'll be sitting right there in the corner for you to try out and i hopefully hopefully you will enjoy it i recommend you click that one no matter what it's going to be it's going to be something that you probably already like so click that one it's right there uh guys thank you very much for watching and i will see all you dudes in the next video bye